Hi all. Welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Dr. Neetu Pius. Today we are going to discuss about logic gates, which is the second module of basic electronics and communication engineering. Let's move to the video. Logic gates, the logic system that consists of gates and flip flop. So logic gate means that are an electronic circuits which is designed to produce the basic functions that will be a logic functions such as and or nor etc so this flip flop that is a memory device which is capable of storing this logic constants and the interconnection of gates and flip flops results in the logic networks so these are the logic gate symbols the first one represents OR gate. The second one is NOR gate, which is OR plus a NOT gate. Then AND gate, NAND gate, XOR gate, XNOR gate. This is the symbol for buffer and this is the symbol for a NOT gate. So first we will see what is a buffer. So buffer, the symbol is like this it is represented in this form so it it do not affect the logic state of a digital signal so logic one input that results in a logic one output whereas logic zero inputs input results in a logic zero output so this buffers are used to provide an ex, extra current drive at the output and you can see that the logic expression for the output will be y which is equal to the input x. So if you give a zero input, you will get zero output. And if you are giving a one as the input, you will get one as the output. That is called a buffer. Next is an inverter. So in your buffer, if you put a not sign, it will become an inverter. So inverters means it is used to complement the logic state. So what is the input which you are giving? It will give the complement of the input. So if here you can see that x is the input and y is the output. So if you are giving zero input, you will be getting one as the output, which will complement your input. And if you are getting, if you are giving one as the input, you can see that your output will be zero. So the Boolean expression for the output y is equal to x bar, which is the inversion of your input. So this is the symbol. This is the truth table of your inverter. Next is the logic gate AND gate. So the symbol for AND gate is this. You have two input AND gate, three input AND gate, etc. So if you take a two input AND gate, A and B be the input of your AND gate and Y is the output. So there are four different combinations for your input. So A and B. You can give both the inputs as 0 or keeping one input 0 and other as 1. So the all the different combinations of your A and B can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So this is the combinations of your input. So as AND gate, it will produce a logic 1 output when all the inputs are 1. So in this truth table, you can see that when both your inputs are one, then only your AND gate will give an output. So in the Boolean expression form, you can take it as Y is equal to A into B. So the other combinations will result in a zero output. Next is OR gate. So here also you can see that this is the symbol of your OR gate. You have two inputs A and B. Four different combinations can be given for your inputs. That is 0, 0 which represents 0. 0, 1 is 1. 1, 0 is 2. And 1, 1 is 3. So as it is two input, you can have the combinations from 0 to 3. So four combinations are there. And this AND gate, it will produce logic 1 as your output whenever any one or more than one input is a logic one. So by, by looking into your truth table, you can see that 
the first combination is both your inputs are zero which means that your output is also zero if any of your input is one so that case you have two combinations which is zero one and one zero in both the case you can see that at least one input is one so that you will get an output as one and in the last combinations you can see that both your inputs are one so that also you will get your output as one so the logic expression for your output y is equal to a plus b that is your or gate which will only produce logic zero when all your inputs are zero and if any one input or more than one input are one means you will get an output as one that is your or gate Next is NAND gate. NAND means a combination of NOT and AND. So what is your AND gate? That output if you complement means you will get a NAND gate over there. So you can see your truth table over here. Two inputs are there A and B. So your Y, y is the output which is A into B complement or A into B bar. Which means that y is equal to a b is your AND gate and the complement of that putting a NOT gate you will get the NAND gate. So in the AND gate you can see that all your inputs are 0 sorry all your outputs are 0 and only for both your inputs are 1 there only you will get the output as 1 in your AND gate. So just complement of that gives your NAND gate that is input will produce all the uh, if you have all your inputs are at simultaneously one or the gates which produce a logic zero output when all your input are simultaneously at logic one and other input combinations will produce a logic one output so and gate is an inverted NAND gate is an inverted AND gate so y is equal to a b bar so you can see that for 0 0 your output will be 1 0 1 your output will be 1 and 1 0 your output will be 1 only for 1 1 your output will be 0 that is your NAND gate so you can see that without this NOT this is your AND gate plus an inversion gives NAND gate and the symbol also same here A and B is the input this is the uh, notation for your AND gate a knot of that gives your NAND gate next is NOR which is NOT plus OR that is to your OR gate if you connect a NOT you will get NOR gate so here also you can see that in your OR gate, you can see only for the input 0, 0, you will get 0 as your output and all other case it is 1. So just the complement of that gives your NOR gate here. So your Boolean expression will be Y is equal to A plus B bar. OR gate with an output inverted gives a NOR gate. Next is exclusive OR gate. The symbol for exclusive OR gate is this. A and B is the input. So here it will be A XOR B which means that your Boolean expression will be Y is equal to A B bar plus A bar B. So a two input exclusive OR gate will produce a logic one output whenever either one of the inputs is at logic 1 and the other is at logic 0. So here in the two table you can see that when your inputs are 0, 0 your output is also 0 and when your inputs are 1, 1 your output is 0. So either of your inputs is at logic 1 and other is at logic 0 then only your exclusive OR gate will give the output as 1. So your boolean expression will be y is equal to a b bar plus a bar b. That is log exclusive. Find this useful. 
Please share it with others. Thank you.